of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Tom, look at Look at what, Jerry? Well, there's Ham over there. See him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sure is funny, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He acts like he's half asleep all the time. Oh, Ham. Uh, yeah. What you doing, Ham? Oh, I'm just thinking. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just thinking. Well, what you thinking about? Well, I was just thinking about uh, what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I was supposed to do something, but I don't remember what it was, so I'm just thinking to see if I can find out. You sure forget quick. <laughs> oh, that's because I had my mind on your friends, them Russians that put on the riding show yesterday. Yeah, they sure are good, them Russians. He means the Rusoff troop. Yeah, I know. You liked them, huh, Sam? Oh, they were really something. Say, they can ride them horses better than anybody I ever did see. When they were riding, standing up, I really got scared. I never saw anything like that before. I guess that's because I never been where they were before, and that's why I didn't see them. They're just about the best riders in the world, I guess. The best trick riders, anyway. Uh, where are you boys going to now? You going someplace, I'll bet you. Well, we were heading down the line to see my dad. Oh, he's out there on the track with Blaze. See him? Oh, sure. There he is, Tom. And he's got Blaze all saddled. I guess he's waiting for Warren to come and give Blaze his last workout. Come on, let's get over there. Uh, can, can I come along and watch? Uh, don't you think maybe I shouldn't order? Sure, come along, Ham. But hurry. Uh, you want me? You mean me? I should hurry? Oh, me. Well, Mr. Rogers, he sees us, Jerry. Coming, Ham? Uh, I'm coming, yes, sir. Poor Dad. He sure is worried about that race this afternoon. I don't blame him. It sure would be awful if he didn't win. Hello, boys. Hiya, Dad. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Who's your friend there in back of you? Oh, Ham. He wanted to watch Blaze do his workout. Uh, yeah, the Master Rogers, if you don't mind, sir. Oh, glad to have you, Ham. Uh, say, Tom, did you happen to see Warren over by the stable? No, sir, I didn't. I wish that boy would be a little more prompt. He's ten minutes late already. Uh, I saw him, Mr. Rogers, sir. You did? Where? Uh, he, he was down at the other end of the line talking with Mr. Elston just a while ago, sir. Talking with Elston, you say? Uh, yeah, sir. Who's that, Mr. Rogers? Elston owns the two fastest horses in the state. Well, which ones are they? He's the owner of Morning Sun and Silver Streak. Really? Yep, but lucky for the rest of us, he's only entering one. He's just running Morning Sun under his colors. Say, I heard someone talking about those two horses yesterday. Oh, that Morning Sun is the one big threat of the race this afternoon. He can win it, all right. Uh, my boss says his horse is going to win the race, and he knows what he's talking about, and that's what he told me. He said that to me. Well, Ham, everybody that enters a horse hopes that his entry will win, but there's just going to be one winner when the race is over. Look at Dad. Here comes Warren now. Well, about time, I'd say. Come on, Warren. He sure has taken his time. I'm waiting for you, Warren. I've had Blaze out here on the track for ten minutes already. I got something to tell you, Mr. Rogers. Bad news, I'm afraid. What's the matter? I'm not riding, Blaze. What are you talking about? You heard me. I'm not riding for you today. But you've got to. You can't let me down just hours before the race. There isn't another jockey available. I'm sorry, but Mr. Elson's going to enter both of his horses in the race. And I'm going to ride Silver Street. Oh, how can you do a thing like this to me? I'm sorry. Listen, Warren. If you ride Blaze and Blaze wins, I'll give you... Well, I'll make it worth your while. Between you and me, Mr. Rogers, Blaze hasn't got a chance. Silver Streak is going to win the race, and I'll be riding him. Oh, now, listen to me, Warren. I'm sorry, Mr. Rogers. I'm in a hurry now. Jiminy Cricket, that, that's awful. Oh, Dad, what are you going to do? I don't know, son. I guess I'm through. I, I know. 
What? Why don't you ride Blaze, Tom? Say, that's an idea. Uh, excuse me, sir, but Mr. Tom is just about the same size as was born. Yes, but he's not a jockey. Why, you couldn't ride in a big race like the handicap, Tom. Sure I could, Dad. Yes, he could, Mr. Rogers. He's a good rider. What? What's this you say? He rode Splendor and did jumps with him. Well, Whitey says I'm a natural-born jockey. Honest, he did, Dad. Whitey? Who's Whitey? Well, he's a, he's a man who has charge of all the horses with the circus. Really, Mr. Rogers? Tom will surprise you. He can ride keen. Uh, why don't you let him try to ride the horse now? And if he can ride, well... Well, I don't know what else to Please do, but... Please let him try. Yeah, Dad, let me try. It won't hurt to see if I can ride him. Well, it certainly would be a lifesaver if you could, Tom. Can I try? Well... All right, go ahead. Uh, hey, hey, wait a minute, Dad. But before you get on that horse, I got something I want to give to you. Was going to turn the trick. What are you talking about, him? Uh, here, Mister Tom. Uh, you, you take this lucky rabbit's foot. What are you rubbing it on your head for? Uh, that's going to make sure it's lucky. You can't go wrong now. Gee, thanks, Ham. Help me up, Dad. Okay, up you go. Uh, there. Now, now, take it easy until you get the feel. Are you, you all right? Sure. Come on, please. You'll see how good he can ride. Well, he sure seems to know what he's doing. It's the best thing that could happen. I mean, that Warren, he done quit on you. Now, Mr. Tom, sure going to win for you. He's going to try hard, and with that rabbit's foot, he can't miss, no, sir. I hope you're right, Ham. Uh, Ham is never wrong most of the time, only sometimes. Just look how nice he rides. Uh, bring him back here. Oh, but, Jerry, I'm really afraid to let Tom ride him. Don't be afraid. I tell you, he's a good rider. Oh, I wish I were sure of that. Well, just like Tom told you. Why, he said he was a natural-born jockey. Should I try him out now? All right, son, but be careful. I will. Time us now. All right. Go ahead any time. Get out there, Blaze. Golly, look at him go. Well, that's faster than he took off when Warren was riding him. Say, I believe you're right, Jerry. I do declare. That boy is all right. Hey, it might work. What, Mr. Rogers? I mean, I think Tom might be able to ride him this afternoon. Sure he can. Wait, wait now. Let me clock him at the quarter turn. There. What did he do then? Let's see. Well, say... How long did it take him? Only 23 seconds. Say, that's the best time ever. I told you Tom could ride. Oh, looks like you're right, Jerry. Ride, see, that boy is good. He's flying with that horse. You know, he'll try hard to win. Sure he will. He'll try hard. That's what he'll do. Say, he'll try harder than Warren would have. What looked like bad luck has turned to good luck. Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't forget to get his time at the half mile, sir. Oh, thanks, Ham. I nearly did forget it. There he goes now. How long did it take him? Hmm, 27 seconds. That's not so good. He seems to slow down. He's tiring, Jerry. Maybe this afternoon when the race is on and all the folks are yelling and hollering, well, it'll keep him going. Let's hope so, Jerry. But, oh, to be truthful with you... Yeah? Well, Jerry, I've given up hope. I'm afraid of Morning Sun and Silver Streak, Mr. Elston's horses. They're fast, Jerry, real fast. Uh, how about Flashaway, my boss's horse? Oh, yes, Ham. Flashaway is fast, too. No, Jerry, I don't think we have much of a chance. Uh, that boy you can ride him all right, though, Mr. Rogers. I'll say he can. And it might make a difference, too. Oh, it's not the rider this time, Jerry. The folks that have all been kidding me about Blaze are right. He just hasn't got the speed. He's all right for about a half mile, but then he slows down. Oh, there may be a way to overcome that. Well, can you think of a way, Jerry? Well, I was thinking that if Tom would hold him back and not let him get away so fast, he might save some of his speed that way. Oh, but then all the other horses would get so far ahead of him, he wouldn't have a chance. Uh, here he comes. Here he comes, Mr. Rogers, sir. You did all right, son. How long did it take us to do the half mile? Exactly 50 seconds. Oh, wow. Well. That's pretty good, isn't it? Sure it is. Well, it's not so good when you figure you did the quarter mile in 23 seconds, and then it took 27 to do the second quarter. That only means one thing, Tom. Blaze slows down. He tires. The race is too long for him. Uh, here, Master Tom. I'll help you down, sir. But, but I was holding him back. He wanted to go faster. Holding him back? Tom, why did you do that? You knew I was timing him. Well, I thought it would be better if I held him back. But why? Well, I didn't want him to get used to getting his rein so soon. You see, if I let him out now... Well, then he'd think I was going to let him out in the same place when the race was on this afternoon. Good boy. See, Mr. Rogers, that's just what I said. Sure. I wanted him to save all his speed for later. Well, I don't know, Tom. You do as you please. You seem to know how to ride him all right. Don't be so discouraged. No, Dad. Please don't. I'm going in there this afternoon to win, and I'm going to win. Hooray for you. You sure enough ain't going to give up. Well, you've got the right spirit, son, but I'm afraid spirit alone can't win the race. You'd better take Blaze back to his stable now and cover him up. I've got to go to the officials and tell them I've changed jockeys. I'll be back, though, in a little while. Okay, Dad. Come on, Jerry. Right with you. 
Coming, Ham? Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm right here. Your dad is sure discouraged, all right. Well, I think we've got a chance to win. I know for sure Blaze could go faster than he did. You sure enough going to carry that rabbit foot I gave you, and you're going to be the most surprises boy in the whole world. Hey, wait a second. I'll, I'll open the gate. We'll do it, won't we, Blaze? Hey, Jerry. Yeah? Yesterday, when Blaze ran after the fire department, uh, you said you had an idea. I have. Well, what is it? Well, I can't tell you now, but you'll find out after the race is over this afternoon. Uh, come on, boys. Let's put the horse up and get his blanket on him. In you go, Blaze. Uh, here's his blanket. Let's take a saddle off first. Okay. Uh, I'll get his bridle off for you all. There we are. Now hand me that blanket. Yep, here it is. There. Now you just take it easy, Blaze. Take a good rest. You can do your best this afternoon. We've just got to win that race. Yeah, don't you think you best feed him some oats now so he'd be good and strong? Well, I don't know. Maybe Dad fed him already. He didn't yesterday before he tried out. Remember? He said he never fed Blaze until after he ran. Yeah, I guess that's right. Well, go ahead and pour some oats in his bin, Ham. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's just what I'm going to do. I think you'd better take a rest, too, Tom. It's not going to be so easy riding Blaze with all those other horses in the race. I guess I'll have to keep my eyes open, all right. I have to do a lot of steering. <laughs> I'll say you will. Just look at that horsey. He was sure enough hungry, all right. My goodness, looks like he didn't have nothing to eat for a long time. Here comes your dad back again. So soon? Uh-huh. You boys in there with Blaze? Yeah, here we are, Dad. Well, you're okay with the officials, Tom. I'll get you your riding outfit later. Hey, what's going on here? Well, what's the matter? Who gave Blaze all those oats? Oh, well, golly, we thought There's that... There's something wrong, sir. Wrong, wrong. I'll say there is. We're as good as finished now. Oh, the idea of feeding a racehorse just before the race. Oh, we didn't think you'd fed him yet. Oh, I thought you boys knew better than that. Well, did you feed him already? Oh, of course I fed him. I fed him real early this morning, and I just gave him a little bit. Oh, that horse hasn't got a chance now. He won't be able to run at all after eating all those oats. Uh, he only had a little bit, so just a little, little yes, bit. Yes, just a little bit. That little bit is just enough to make him so slow he won't even be able to get around the track and finish the race, let alone win it. Golly, we're awful sorry, Mr. Rogers. Oh, it's all right, boys. Oh, I suppose I should have known better than to end a blaze in the race in the first place. Aw, oh, cheer up, Mr. Rogers. You might be surprised. You never can tell about a race, you know. Thank <laughs> you.